Let me show you how to transfer the eSIM from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. The transfer usually takes about 30 minutes and might require you to unlock your iPhone from your carrier. Now, the first thing we're going to do is check to see if your eSIM is allowed to be transferred if you have a carrier lock on your account. Now, just go into the about settings on your phone here and you'll be able to see carrier lock and it says SIM lock. This is OK if you're transferring to a new iPhone and using the exact same carrier. But keep in mind, if this iPhone, the old iPhone, does have a carrier lock, you might need to pay it off first. Now, essentially what you're going to do is on the new iPhone, you're going to get into the settings and tap on cellular. And you can see here, I have my old AT&T line on here, my eSIM. What you'll be able to see on the new phone is it will look like this. It will say, set up your eSIM. You can transfer a phone number and uh, eSIM from a nearby phone. Essentially, you're just gonna tap on that transfer from a nearby iPhone. Essentially, what this does is as long as you have two iPhones nearby, the old one and the new one, it will transfer that eSIM to the new one. Keep in mind by going through this process, it will delete out that eSIM. So you don't need to go through the process of physically deleting the eSIM, but it will automatically do that and delete that eSIM from the old iPhone and all your new calls will be routed to your new iPhone.